My name is Trinesco, as I was kindly introduced. I'm from a science center. And uh, I'm talking about the awareness study and specifically about the results. Uh, so, what is food web awareness study? Uh, one of the main goals of uh, food web as a project is uh, to make people aware of the environmental risks. So how to make people aware of them? And uh, what is the state of people awareness? Uh, that is why we made this study. Uh, uh, that uh, aims to reflect the food um, consumption habits what are the actual consumption habits? Uh, what are the conceptions at the moment about environmental risks related to food? What are conceptions about Baltic Sea and uh, environmental developments of it? As the study uh, uh, is providing us uh, multiple opportunities uh, to study these uh, themes further, then we had many uh, partners who put their effort in it uh, in one way or another. Uh, so the awareness study connects with different stages of food web project. Uh, here we can uh, see the graphic. So we are talking about the questionnaire's results. Uh, of course, it connects with other studies about social norms and uh, such, uh, about uh, different uh, producing stages studies, about regulation studies, and so on. So the main question uh, is what are the knowledge and beliefs of consumers about food, eating, environmental risks, and which factors may influence it? Uh, awareness study uh, aims to study the choices and possibilities to change habits available to consumers. So, uh, as our main uh, target groups were students, uh, mostly from grade uh, 7 to 9, uh, but also Latvia, for example, ha have included also 6th graders. And also, we had a main target group of uh, parents of young children. Uh, so, so we have made uh, two forms of questionnaires. Uh, one for the adults and one for students. Uh, and both these forms had three major topics. This is the dietary habits of actual, actual dietary uh, actions of people. Uh, the second one is about uh, conceptions of food-related risks. This, is, this includes health risks and environmental risks. What are the knowledge? Uh, and uh, the third one is about uh, conceptions about Baltic Sea region and its developments. So the fourth one uh, is also there. This is basic information about the respondent, that is age, uh, gender, and so on. 
Awareness study basically is based on two uh, parts. One is questionnaires and the other one expert interviews. We are focusing on questionnaires results. So every country had to choose their own uh, study areas according to their food web project areas. Uh, uh, Finland and Latvia had uh, four major regions that they included, and Estonia had five. Focusing mainly on the seaside, as you can see. So, uh, all in all, uh, we had 3,310 respondents. Uh, from Estonia, Finland, and Latvia. So, about 2,000 was uh, student respondents and about 1,000 adult respondents. So, as you can see from the graphics, uh, students uh, divided uh, by gender approximately in half, exactly in half. Uh, but uh, as as awareness study was uh, conducted um, in public places and and uh, were contributed to students' parents, then respondents had uh, opportunity to choose who will fill it in from the family or who will uh, wh whether they fill it in at all. So, uh, so uh, women were more eager to answer, but probably it is because uh, uh, because uh, of the fact that uh, female respondents uh, feel more responsible for the decisions uh, made from the food-related topics. So, what are the results? Uh, first of all, uh, awareness study um, provides us uh, many opportunities to study it further. We have, uh, uh, we have had uh, many questions that we can relate to each other. Uh, and uh, these results that I present here are not the only ones that can be made from the data. Uh, this is what we feel is important at the moment. Uh, so, where do people get information about the environmental risks, about the dietary habits, about Baltic Sea developments? So, as you can see, internet dominates uh, the sources, choice, mm. and uh, TV family was uh, second and third so choice for uh, students, and newspapers and magazines second choice for for uh, adults. Uh, but when People are at shop. shop. Uh, they have to make uh, decisions on spot based on what are their resources, knowledge, values, uh, financial resources, and so on. So uh, we we ask them to fill in a question of um, what's important when they make shopping decisions. So, uh, there were many, many features. Uh, for uh, both adults and students, the most important ones were delicious, good for health, uh, previous experience, and especially suitable for children. So, these are the four ma major uh, 
features that uh, people look in when they buy food. But uh, I, I am showing here uh, directly related to environment issues, uh, those features. Uh, so you can see um, that uh, national uh, or local production is important for adults. This is a percentage of very or quite important opinion. Uh, it is more important for adults than for uh, students. At the same time, as you can see, animal rights and environment protection is uh, more important for students. Uh, be, uh, adults also um, find quite important uh, uh, to buy organic productions, products. Um, and the results also show that uh, adults want to buy more organic products. But of course, they are not willing to pay more for them. As, uh, as you can imagine. Uh, but there were 53% of adults and 33% of children who want to learn more about the environmental risks related to food. Also, there were 22% of adults and 30% of students who didn't have uh, their own opinion about it, whether they want to learn it or not. So how do you approach these 53% and 30% and those who are not sure whether they want to learn about it? Uh, so uh, the main result is that the people, adults want to uh, one clearer uh, distinction about regular foods and, and environmental foods in shops. Uh, for example, with labeling the environmentally friendly foods. Uh, also, they want uh, larger choice, availability, and uh, also it is uh, important for the adults uh, to have uh, the same price as regular foods have. Uh, so for the students, uh, uh, the most important thing was uh, more easily understandable information. Uh, but they also wanted clearer, distinct, uh, laboring or otherwise uh, uh, otherwise uh, other ways that can be separate the regular foods from the env environmentally friendly foods. And as you can see from the previous slide, I'm pointing here at the moment, and from the student slide that uh, more books and more organizations that are working with these issues are not important for, for uh, not for students, not for adults. So uh, the third uh, major uh, topic was Baltic Sea region. And what is the knowledge and opinion about the state of Baltic Sea. So we asked the respondents to state uh, what they feel is the state of water, uh, fish, pollution levels, or the coastal area in general of the Baltic Sea. Uh, we can see that uh, the opinion is above average, but um, we can't say it's really good. The most uh, uh, 
highly valued is the coastal area. Uh, but we have to take notice of uh, the quite large amount of missing uh, answers. Uh, so, you, as you can see, uh, adults had difficulty to answer about pollution levels and students about fish. So, um, so the knowledge is quite poor. And therefore, we should, um, uh, uh, we should uh, uh, dealt, dealt with it uh, further on, deal with it further on. So, uh, and if you have a question that, uh, is it really that uh, when people are more aware of, uh, of uh, these issues, then they are more interested in it, then yes, the study shows that the correlations are there. So, uh, basically, the more uh, knowledge a person has about uh, uh, food-related risks or other, uh, other environmental impacts we studied, uh, means also more interest in these issues, in uh, risks is issues and then environmental issues. And those who are more interested uh, want to learn more about these things. And they are more eager to learn. They find uh, learning ways mm, more effective than those who are not interested in learning more about these issues. Uh, so, as a conclusion, Uh, uh, to make a short summary of the food web awareness study. So basically what people want is more information, is clearer information, distinct labeling, uh, and also both age groups, students, adults, brought out they want more environmentally friendly actors, whether it's the uh, loud ones or whether it is manufacturers, producers, salesmen. And they want larger availability of the opportunities to buy those products that are environmentally labeled and, and so on. So they want to shop easy, basically. And to end with uh, my favorite, my personal favorite quote from the results. So let's respect the nature. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any questions about the study or the results? Any questions? Ah, yeah. Sorry. Okay, thank you so much. Um, uh, did you find any, or uh, do you have any any impression about the uh, differences between the, between the countries in the, in the results? Um, yes, uh, the differ differences were there, but. Um, uh, it depended on the question. Uh, so we can't say that, um, for example, uh, Finland is the most uh, aware or, or something like that. We can't make this uh, overall conclusion. But we can say, for example, uh, Finns fi uh, found um, uh, more easily understandable information more important than Estonians, for example, and such. 
Yeah, actually, I didn't mean to 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 raise the the Finland in there, <laughs> but I was thinking yeah. about the uh, because there were something about the culture also. So, because it seems that in in uh, other Baltic uh, uh, in Baltic countries, the mm -hmm. the connection to culture is perhaps mm -hmm. stronger than than it is in Finland actually. As for a remark, uh, uh, this uh, these results are from the technical report where <coughs> interpretations were only based on the actual numbers, what we can <coughs> conclude from the numbers. Uh, so we didn't include uh, here the interpret um, uh, those things that might uh, allow us to interpret the results. Aki Finer from Rise Your Group. Uh, you had a question that how uh, adults and students see the animal welfare and, and environmental aspects. Were they combined in one, one question or did you ask them separ separately? Uh, I, I asked them separately. Uh, uh, the adult the questionnaire was somewhat different than the student questionnaire. So if we, oh, okay. <laughs> so if we uh, see the slide, then uh, uh, these that do not have the purple stone or whatever <laughs> mark, uh, these uh, were not included in student uh, questionnaires. Any more questions? Did you plan some kind of a follow-up study? How to you know, how, how the awareness changes, or it would be interesting mm. to see whether you know the young people keep the same attitudes when they grow up. So, um, for all the project partners, I think it's uh, uh, important to uh, um, make a follow-up uh, with interpretations with the same results and you interpret interpret uh, it um, based on uh, other studies, based on uh, uh, other data and so on. So this is the follow up at the moment. Okay. If there are no more questions, thank you, Trine.